Lesson 1, Advanced Integration Techniques, Trig Functions. Example 1, find the integral of cos cubed x dx. Now in this particular type, we have to split up the cos into two bits. That is, we say that i equal the integral of cos x times cos squared x dx. Now we can replace cos squared x with 1 minus sine x, sine squared x, sorry. Now this becomes the integral of cos x minus cos x sine squared x dx. Now the integral of cos x is just sine x. Now when you differentiate sine, you're going to get cos. So that's the differential of that. So all you need to do is, by the special rule, increase that by 1 and divide by it. So it'll be minus 1 third sine cubed x plus a constant. Example 2, find the integral of sine the fourth x dx. And we'll split this one up. So i equals the integral of sine squared x times sine squared x dx. And this one becomes the integral of sine squared x times 1 minus cos squared x dx, which is sine squared x minus sine squared x cos squared x dx. And of course, this is going to be sine squared x minus. Now this is sine x cos x, sine x cos x all squared. Now sine 2x equals 2 sine x cos x. Therefore sine x cos x equals a half of this. So we square both sides this becomes 1 quarter sine squared 2x dx. All right. Now we know that the cos of 2x equals 1 minus 2 sine squared x, which means that sine squared x equals 1 half of 1 minus cos 2x. And of course, sine squared 2x will be a half of 1 minus cos 4x. So replacing those, we get the integral is equal to 1 half of 1 minus cos 2x minus, now this will be a quarter of that, so it'll be 1 eighth of 1 minus cos 4x dx. So now we've got an eighth, a half minus an eighth is three eighths, so it's three eighths minus one half cos two x plus one eighth cos four x dx. So now integrate, we, integrating we get three eighths of x. Now this would be cos goes to the positive sign, so there'll be one quarter sine two x and this would be one thirty second sine four x plus a constant. 